Good morning everybody. This is the view from um, the, the main brain room or where things get done or where you come to do things or computer room, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> I don't know whether you can see that but the temperatures dropped down quite a bit this morning. 19.3 degrees although one of the digits on my uh, thermometer hygrometer this measures uh, relative humidity <coughs> has gone missing but I can still I still know what it means it's just like that see one of the digits at the bottom has stopped working but um, the humidity is 57 percent which means there's probably more moisture in there than there was before and it does look a bit cooler and it's 19.3 degrees so it's not too bad at all. Bit of a cloudy day, but um, so I don't know what, oh, you probably can't. To the left of where we live, there's a golf course. So this is me signing off and just saying good morning and hope you have a lovely day. Bye. And here's today's perpetual reading, calendar, calendar reading from the um, universe. Just a friendly reminder, the shortest distance between here and there, between have and have not, is always through imagination. Let yours pave the way by imagining the end result. Thoughts become things. Oh, hang on. That was yesterday's. <laughs> oh, I must be still half asleep. Right, let me start again. July the 30th. Let me check the date so I know where I am. Oh, hang on. That was yes. This, this is today. I didn't flip it over yesterday, I must have forgot. Right, it says, baby steps spark miracles. Miracles do not spark baby steps. Unguana the universe. The only miracles that can't teach you are the ones you are waiting or the only miracles that can't teach you are the ones you wait around for. And that today, folks, is the um, thoughts from the universe and my toot.com perpetual calendar. Just in case you're wondering where I've got it from. And no, I'm not an affiliate or trying to push sales on people. It's just in case people might be interested, you know, in the, the sort of things that I'm interested in. So there you go. That's the thought for today. Hey, I'm going to read one of these off um, every so often because people might be interested in it. Just for the sheer hell of it. Give some people inspiration in a day. Hey, why not? Today's thought for today, or thought-provoking thought for today is brought to you by some wallpaper on my computer. How original is that? I got, I don't know where, oh, there's a site um, I got these from. If you're interested, acqyr.com and they have inspirational wallpapers. And I put them on my um, computer. I've got, yeah. This one says, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. I don't know who said that actually. Um, I'm trying to think now. I do know the person's name. But um, with it being so early in the morning, I can't think of his name. So there you go. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. That is today's thought for day. Brought to you by acqyr.com paper. Thank you. Morning world. It's a lovely day. Whew, a bit cooler today and I'm on the move. See that? One of our hanging baskets. Revolutionary design. 
revolutionary design. They've got like a thing there where you put the plants in and then they pop through. So they're not just at the top. But this nice, but I didn't get any this year. I've got two of those. There's one here as well, look, in the front of the house. Very clever. Just not to bother to um, get any plants this year, which is a shame. Just walking up the street at the moment. I only you probably <laughs> notice it looks familiar, just past this white van. Just going to see my friend again. Have a bit of a chinwag and see what he's up to and so on and so forth. Probably get used to seeing this um, view up the street. It's Saturday morning actually. I don't know whether you can see. But the sun's coming out and it's about just gone seven o'clock in the morning. There's very, very, very little traffic about. The cyclist on his bike bombing by. It's very quiet. Not, there's not a soul about. Traffic's very minimal. I can, <laughs> it's hard today to imagine what it was like years ago when there was no cars on the road at all. That is um, one thing that's hard to imagine. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> As you can see, lots of people got the windows open with it being hot here still although saying that <coughs> quite cool this morning uh, and quite nice and cool around the legs so you can see I've got shorts on and no <laughs> I haven't tied my shoelaces up again a bit lazy just seen some uh, construction workers, looks like some people might be working on Saturday doing the tram, not like they do. <coughs> Don't know whether you can see there, the sun's bright in the sky, but it's not red hot, which is a good thing. Look at all the plants in the front of this house. <coughs> really nice. <laughs> I like plants, green. This is a bit overgrown, isn't it? That cat's got the right idea, look at him. It's off past seven. I don't know whether you can see the clock in that house. Kevin's next door neighbour, it's off past seven. Folks, here is a warning. Do you ever wish... This is my laptop, and um, I'm using a program called Malware Bytes. And the reason for showing you this is because... I've got some frigging... <laughs> Malware on my laptop and it's stopping me from using Google Chrome and I like Google Chrome, it's my favourite browser mainly because it integrates with Google and um, makes everything seamless and I can use it across multiple computers, devices and I've got all my uh, bookmarks and everything so now, I've just, not so long ago I did a scan and it found about 78 items which I was surprised about because normally I'm quite good on computer security etc but this morning I downloaded and this goes to show you how careful you need to be sometimes when it comes to these things I downloaded um, some software because I wanted to try um, something that integrates within Skype it was a language converter and I was quite interested to see how it would work something I'd got in mind <clears throat> so it puts it on and like these things do they installs so many other things that you don't want and now every time I open Google Chrome it just crashes it freezes whether that's um, an intentional thing I don't know but whatever it is that's on my computer just doesn't want to be removed for some reason so <clears throat> I'm trying to get rid of it using this program I've used it before in the past and it's worked quite well and at the moment we might not be able to see. It's found zero objects, which means it's not found any problems. So the only thing to do is just leave it scanning and then come back and see if um, <coughs> it's found the problem. Otherwise, I might have to try something else. It's dead annoying when you want to do something, isn't it? And you can't because some muppet in the world or um, numpty 
has wrote a program that cripples your computer. If I open Chrome now, it just freezes my computer. I can't do anything. I have to keep restarting it. So I'm hoping this will find out whether, what the problem is or I might actually install the Chrome, uninstall Chrome and see if that cures it and start again. So, lesson to be learned. Don't download things off the internet sometimes because they put rubbish on your computer that causes more problems than they're worth. End of lesson, eh? Here endeth the lesson for today on computer malware. This was brought to you by computer malware removal. <laughs>